Today, we're going to get into what we call the cash machine. And I'll start this with many years ago, there's a story of two brothers, Maurice and Richard McDonald. And these individuals have started what we know today as McDonald's. And this was back in 1940, the first one in, this was in California, San Bernardino. And what was so unique about this story is how I tie it to the biggest snatch and grab cash machine grab in history is because these guys started a franchise and it was a mom and pop shop when it first started out. And the interesting part about the the McDonald brothers is they had a good little, like I said, a great idea to create a burger, fry, milkshake experience for people that you can get in a couple of seconds, let alone sitting there waiting like you would wait if it was on a grill. As the story turned into something more magnificent, based basically because in 1948, they decided to revamp this place and speed up everything and turn it into something that n- no one had ever seen before. So you could grab your burgers in 30 seconds, opposed to waiting 10 minutes like you would typically do at any restaurant back in those days. So that what made it so that's exactly what made it so unique. But here's the twist. In the early 50s comes along this guy. He was a milkshake salesman and he sees and experiences going through the line and getting his burger. He was totally shocked when they gave him his burger in such a quick amount of time because that was not a thing. Fast food wasn't really fast back then. Mm -hmm. And so he had a, a vision that he could partner with these guys and he was a milkshake salesman. So he could basically sell them the milkshake machines. And basically that's how the relationship started. But then he saw the bigger vision. The vision was to take this thing and give other people an opportunity to buy into it. And where this thing took a twist is he learned later on that bringing new people in, there were gonna be a lot of different problems that you had to deal with. So what he decided to do instead of just opening up restaurants that he would basically buy the land that the Mm -hmm. restaurant sat on. And most people think McDonald's is a burger joint, but it has nothing to do with that. It's all about proximity, location, and that they are basically real estate. Mm -hmm. Everything that business model is based upon is real estate. So they went from a mom and pop shop to the biggest franchise globally in the world. And they own more real estate than any company. 1% of the earth is McDonald's. So whereas we thought it was a burger joint, it's an actual real estate venture. And that's gone down in history as the biggest snatch and grab cash machine that there is. One of the daughters makes $10 million a day. And so Ray Kroc took what they saw as a great idea and turned it into his vision Mm -hmm. And he's a visionary. So therein lies the story of McDonald. So that's the thing about this show. Think bigger. Realize that there's much more available to you when you expand your mind and -hmm. start to double down on the vision opposed to just a great idea. So today we're here with my co-host, Stacey. Hey, everybody. Yeah, thanks. Man, that was a great story coming off of the story of Starbucks the other week. So it is definitely <laughs> two just primo examples of thinking bigger and thinking. how you're, you sh- if you challenge yourself to do it, great things will happen. So, yeah, absolutely. I, guys, I didn't know that was a story opening up. So I, I, I loved hearing that story again. It's just it's, it's amazing. Yeah, so many lessons in it for sure. You never know what your venture is going to turn into. And that's one of the reasons that we have to speak directly to our sponsor, Jab Juice Consulting. Mm -hmm. This is what takes your great idea and turn it into a big vision. And it allows you to see your dream and your beautiful 
ideas and turn them into something that could just reach a pinnacle that you never imagined. And it's all about, that's exactly what Jab Juice Consulting does. It basically takes what you have to that next level and right. on from there yeah. to the world of what you would think is just consulting, but turn it into what we call business mastery. And, and that's what is so exciting about talking about these conversations and everybody that's watching gets an opportunity to see where they're thinking about their little idea, or it could be a very good idea, a great idea, but having the mustard behind it to make it all take place and take flight. That's, that's a beautiful thing. So I'm looking forward to getting into how do you turn an average thing into a cash machine, which is the, the, the conversation of today. And we're going to use a couple of great examples, but you know, let's hear from our co-host today and what you're excited about today. Stacey. Yeah, I, well, I appreciate it. Like I said, how you open the show, because it really does. If you start, the mindset has to be there about thinking bigger. And I know that we challenge one another to think bigger. Matter of fact, it's part of our, our system and our process. When we mm -hmm. go to create something for the market, we then take a step back and say, is that big enough? Is mm -hmm. that great enough? Is it serving higher? Yes. And it really does, you know, challenge you to get outside of your comfort zone. So yes. I know what we're going to get into today is, is really cool. And it's because we've been talking to uh, folks that are in, in our circle in some way, shape or form that, part of their career, part of their responsibility, part of where they have to show up has to do with events. Yes. And, you know, since COVID is behind us, knock on wood, events are back and going. Yes. And a lot of people, you know, to put one, to pull one off, a big event off, it's a lot of dang work. Yeah. And, to pull off and actually execute one that makes money. I'm talking like yeah. really makes money. Yeah. That's a whole different animal. Well, because, yeah. So that's what we're going to dive in today. And um, Eric's going to pull the curtain back a little bit because yes. we've done a lot of this and wanted to share it with you. Well, what we're going to do is get directly into something really cool for everybody. Cause you can see yourself in this. So you can start this thing off. What's so crazy is we're going to show you, how to just immediately inject a quarter of a million dollars into your world. And that's what we call cash machine. Most people don't understand that you can get money. That's the easy part. The thing about it is creating a framework where it's a continual thing. You don't just want to do it once. So here's how you can do it, especially if you're in the world of entertainment on any level. So I'm going to go into the number. So what we're going to do is table this. And the first thing that we're going to start off doing is making sure that there are components that need to be in place. Your burgers need to be in place. Your fries need to be in place. Your, your milkshake needs to be in place. You got to have speed. That's what you're selling, at least to the visual of the naked eye. Most of you may be putting on events such as food or fighting. Either way, you can see yourself in this light right here. So we're going to table the conversation. First, we're going to start off with athletes. If you got, we're going to start off with the numbers, a 5,000 square foot, I mean, 5,000 seat arena. That's all you need. All right. And this is where we're going to break everything down for you. 5,000 square feet. There's a venue somewhere in your city or outside of your city that has 5,000 seats, because mm -hmm. this is all going to break down to what we call there's a real value and then there's another level in this thing and it's called super value. And when we start off, we're going to start off with athletes. Just say, for instance, if you're in tennis, you're in boxing, we're going to use boxing or MMA for an example, because a lot of you are from that world, you know, us from there, but here's the deal. When you have that, the first thing that you can do is take, this is what happens when you have a person who's been doing the things right. And we call this the FSS and the FSS is your fight stock score. Someone who has at least a 40%, 40, 40 percentile of this, these boxes checked can do this. Now you're going to take 
4,800 of these tickets for general admission. And this is going to make a lot of sense as I go. 4,800 tickets. This is how we're going to get to a quarter of a million dollars like that. So no matter what kind of event you're putting on, this is going to serve you greatly. 4,800 tickets will be sold in general admission at $40. And this is with someone, let's just say, who's doing their social media modestly. All right. People aware that you exist and they know that you do a good job. Here's the deal. If you sell 4,800 tickets, which you can, all you have to do is be heard amplify what you're doing, advertise it, and make sure that people know about what is it that you're about to do. And that's what's going to get the first people. These are general admission tickets at 40 bucks. Okay. Now what you're going to do is get the VIP tickets sold. They're going to be a little bit more. You're going to get VIP tickets sold at $75, 180 of those tickets. And where I'm from, people are excited about coming to those little events. We used to start off in 1,500 square foot arenas, and then we popped it into a 10,000 square foot arena. So this is where I know that you can actually flip these numbers and create what we call the cash machine, something to inject capital right into your journey, your focus, and your mission to get it going. The next thing, when you get that VIP section, now you're going to rope off 10 tickets just for a platinum section. And that platinum section is going to be 10 tickets at 1500 bucks. These are the people that don't want to be around the mass. They are typically people in the world of CEO, general managers, and very, very astute people in the corporate world who, or at least have corporate money. Here's the deal. When you get those 10 tickets sold, we break it down. The next one, the last 10 tickets will be sold to the celebrity. And these are the people that you reach out for and you market to and get them on board. And like we used to do when we did work in the Chamber of Commerce to raise the million dollar tickets, what we would do, we would do the million dollar show. We'd bring in an event, have a silent auction make it make it yummy and people silent auction and all different types of fundraising events going on within that music catering drinks isolated areas for people who are just up the different echelon this is what makes doing this so cool because it's so fun to put on the events just bring immense traction and these tickets could be sold five times over so you can sell 4,800 tickets. I know I've done it a multitude of times. You can sell 180 VIP tickets. I know because I've done it a multitude of times. Mm -hmm. Platinum and celebrity. Now let's 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 start. Let's table the math. The math, and this is just a subpar, modest person doing marketing. Whether you're an athlete individually, or if you're someone like I said that owns any type of business and you're doing okay mm -hmm. with your visibility these are the modest rates that you can charge and when you do 4800 tickets at 40 dollars that puts you at a blinding boom 192 thousand dollars wham you already 80 percent to your goal of a quarter of a million dollars then you take it to the next 180 tickets. You're going to like this 180 tickets at $75 a ticket. That's $13,500. That right there alone lets you know that you understand more about how to make money. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Don't keep it in your head. Put it on the mic. Start letting people know about it. Then you got your platinum tickets. The people who don't even want to sit down where people working people, the working class people who got good jobs. They just want to, you know, be in VIP for the sake of they may have their kids with them and they just want to give the kids an experience. But then you got the platinum, the general managers of the world, the people who are CEOs, they don't want to be in general mass. Some of their employees might want to get at them. So they want to be in their isolation, 10 people. All right. 1500 tickets at 10. I mean, 10 tickets at 1500 that's fifteen thousand dollars 
period, point blank. You're on your way. Your calculation, once you sell the celebrity section, this is a big thing. This is your, 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 your key people in your town, your city, your state. The people know it for what they do. They have a great brand. They people know who they are. You got 10 tickets sold at $2,500. That's $25,000. You're at $245,000 and $245,500. So that's $245,000 right there. Okay. Period. This is how you stop thinking about all of these ways to get it and just figure out how to get more people in front of you doing this operation and realize this. This is a person that has an FSS score mm -hmm. in the 40 percentile ratio. Me being someone that has a, 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 a magnitude you know, I'm constant, I'm, I'm pressuring, I'm putting it out there. I'm letting people know this, this awareness is a big deal. When you deal with someone who has a FSS score of seven above, you're dealing in an entirely different number. You can attract a whole different level of individuals. Mm -hmm. Let's start this off. See, where we started this show is this is a cash grab. But once you pay everybody off with that first money, you really, truly aren't really doing a profit. Mm -hmm. You could go in a in a hole if you're putting on a, a competitive event, fighting event. You can go in a hole after you pay people. You're paying $10,000 here, $15,000 here. But what happens when you start to commit to bringing the right messaging and the marketing and the in the and what we call the affinity the person who has a bigger affinity you know those people who do the work they get their face out there they're willing here's the difference between those numbers why because i know because i've done this before number one this is a person that have a ss score of above seven percent seventy percent seven Number one, you can sell the 4,800 tickets for 80 bucks now. That's double of what you sold them before. Your takeaway from that, I'll tell you after I run down the other numbers so you can make sure that you jot this down and check my math. The next one is the, and that's your general admission. I've done it. I paid it. I'd actually charged it. So here's the thing, the VIPs. VIPs, you got 180 VIPs selling for $125 because that's not a hard thing. When you've done your work, when you put your word out there, when people know about you, today you have a bigger opportunity to do it. And there's no excuse why you shouldn't. Because if you have a goal on creating cash, this is how you do it. Then you can sell the platinums, 10 of them for 1800. Okay, you don't need the mathematician. You don't need a, you do not need a PhD to know that the math of that is $18,000. Now your celebrity status, people. Celebrity status, the level of people that you will bring, because you will. They might be known for, you know, they may be known for all types of things. Sports, entertainment, food. They could be the top people in, profession, in the professional world. Known, noted, we know them all already. So these people are paying, you get 10 of them at 3,500, that's $35,000. Now, do you see how this thing is taking a different shape where the people who are out there are, are looking for what you do? They are looking to get inside of your circle. They are making it obvious that I need to have something to do over the course of these weekends. What is it that you have to do? They put on amazing things. And then we break it all down. And there is another way to add on to that. So I'm going to break it down. With this, all tallies, 4,800 tickets at $80 a piece is $384,000. You can already see for general admission, that's a real thing. We've seen people put on shows and they can't fill an arena of 5,000 people. You know why? Take that down for one second. You know, you know why they can't do it? Because they're doing modest marketing. They're 
working with people who don't want to put their name out there. They, they just want to win. They just want to be known. They just want the success. They just want the big purses, but they don't want to do the work, which the work makes it exciting. That's one of the reasons I was able to, I still have a record for down in the RBC center still to this day, because I understood if I can be louder than everybody and get this message out here, I can do better than the radio can do. Now, the VIPs, you got 180 tickets at 125. That's 220. I mean, that's $22,500. You can use that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you can use that because that is real revenue. You're doing things that most people have no idea that you have the capabilities of doing because you're doing the things that people are uncomfortable doing. The next category is your platinum you got 10 of them at 1800 this your 18,000, and then you got your celebrity 10 at 3500 that's 35,000. that's a total of four hundred and fifty nine thousand dollars four hundred fifty nine thousand five hundred dollars to be exact mm -hmm. just in case somebody boom boom that's Same some with, cash but Thank you guys for taking the time to listen to Think Bigger. And if you're in a position now that you're blowing up and trying to put on a major event, make sure you contact us and let us know. We're here to make sure that you can skyrocket your business in 2024, 2025. Until next time, continue blessings. And I'll see you guys all soon in the winner's circle. Coach Bradley signing out. Be blessed at God's speed. And remember, no matter what happens in your life, always think bigger. You deserve it. So long. Jabjuice.com.